Hi. Welcome to week two. Let's have lunch. I think today we're going with the, the spicy hot beef jerky. Ooh, I hope I can handle that. I have some pretzels and I've got some pineapple and an orange. And also I have some high quality beef. Hopefully you had a great weekend. I saw some pretty cool videos and I was at an FTC event, but that's not really pertinent to this video. So I don't know if you want to put that in there or not. Progression of programs is always pertinent. Yes. We're breaking down silos here. Yes, update number two is out. There are some interesting things in there. Control panel requirements aren't gonna be looked at or evaluated until your stage capacity is met. Don't bother messing with it until you get your capacities met. Bumpers can be out of the bumper zone during the end game. That makes sense, because you'll be hanging. And then also they defined a major mechanism. Robot in three days, teams have put out their video reviews and we talked about that last week. One of the things I wanna make sure you look at is the original Robot in Three Days guys. They didn't build a robot this year, but they reviewed all of the Robot in Three Days efforts. Check out this video here with Mike and Gabe. They have some really great insight. These guys know a lot about what's going on and they'll give you great advice during the video. We're getting a lot of information back from the Robot in Three Days teams that Andy Mark have sponsored. So they're giving us white papers. We're gonna share that stuff later this week. So stay tuned for that. Every bot came out. The team down at Houston Johnson Space Center at NASA. Last few years, they've been putting together this, this really simple robot to play the FRC game. They call it EveryBots because every, every team can make this robot. Good job guys, gals down at 118 in that facility. There, there's actually two videos to check out. There's the release video, which is actually one minute and 18 seconds long, clever. And then the second video I found a lot more interesting. It actually shows two robots playing the game. The EveryBot scores about 75 points. They hand off balls to the other bot, other bot and the other bot shoots them into the the, the two point goal, I think they do seven cycles of five balls, that's 35 points. Then they hang and balance, that's another, what, 50 points, 40 points, 40 points, I can math. Please take inspiration from the folks who made the EveryBot and score as many points as they have. If you're not sure how to shoot, if you're not sure how to manage the color wheel, score in the low goal and do cycles and then hang and balance and you've got 75 points, just like they had. That will win a lot of matches in itself, let alone with a partner that can shoot into the high goal. I'm not even saying what the high goal's name is. There's the... It's the outer and the inner port. Outer port, inner port. port. Go for the low goal. Low, low port? No, what did you say? Bottom, bottom port. Bottom port, yeah. Brett, make me look good in the editing, please. No can do. How about, I need some more... I've identified about seven games that I've been involved with out of the 24 that I've been a mentor for that have had the opportunities for balls to stick within your robot and they don't want to come out. Do not assume you're going to get rid of that ball out of your robot. In 2012, we had this wonderful game. We had the ability to have, I think, three balls in your robot. They didn't stick that easily. If you think about having a cargo ball on your robot, you only had one. But you guys, if you would have had two, you would have had trouble. This is the same thing that happened in 2000 and in 2004. It's gonna be an issue when you take your fuel cell into your robot and it'll stick to the other fuel cell. Get a couple of power cells, see how sticky they are. It is an issue. One of the new things we have available for the teams is a control panel sticker and a control panel hardware kit. We're trying to give the teams the ability to make their practice fields as much like the competition fields as they can. They're right here. They're made from the official company that makes the official infinite recharge sticker for the competition fields. We're buying them in batches and they're making them as I speak. We're also making the control panel hardware kit because making that round big circle might not be the easiest thing to make for you. So we asked you last week for pictures or comments about your am one for you 4 We have two contest winners. One is a team out of Oakland, California, the Pollo Box, team number 8229. And that means I think they're a rookie. Wow, that's awesome. Good job, Pollo Bots. And the second team is from Las Vegas, Nevada, and that's team 6825. 
strong horns. So strong horns, congratulations, 10% off your next order. We're working on a new contest. Stay tuned for our next episode of lunch. I'm gonna get back to my jerky and see how spicy it is. And uh, you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time. I, I was out on the on the interwebs looking at stuff, the Grapes of Wrath showing their, a telescoping system that it kind of falls apart, showing how things don't work leads to making things that do work. We all love to see them, so keep making those videos.